What is going on guys, it's Triple G here, back with another Outriders video, and today I'm going to be talking to you about five things I think the game needs to have at launch in order for this game to be even more successful than it's looking at the moment in the demo. Guys, if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to the channel, or join us over on Twitch, we stream five times a week, and otherwise, let's get straight into this video. So let me be absolutely clear, I absolutely love the Outriders demo, I've sunk nearly 70 hours into the game i have over 23 legendaries and i am really really enjoying just mindlessly farming that chance for a legendary that is so small but then the gun itself is so powerful is incredibly addictive and i'm hoping that is something that they don't lose when the game first comes out but like all games there are some things that we would like to just adjust and here's five of mine so the first thing that i would love to see and that is if you are solo playing i'd like to be able to pause the game we have to be online to actually play Outriders, which has meant that we can't actually pause the game, even if we're solo playing. I have tried closing the party to private or any kind of combination of settings, but you can't actually pause the game, which, you know, not all of us can just spend hours and hours and hours playing video games. So there are times, you know, your doorbell could ring. You're going to want to be pausing that game. You could be streaming. You want to be looking at chat. Pausing the game is something I really want to see in this game. The next one, and I think this is quite a basic but important one, is I want to see us to be able to favorite items. Even though we are only at level seven, I have been swapping out gear and it is difficult to pick which gear and recognize which gear I'm going to put back on. Say I want to do an anomaly build or I want to focus on my firepower. It's very difficult for me to see which ones are decent and which items are just trash. And being able to favorite something is something that we see in plenty of games and I feel like it should be in straight away. The next thing I would like to see is for co-op play. Now in co-op play, you get a little bit of writing on the left-hand side that says a player is trying to travel somewhere or a player is trying to do something, but it's not big enough. Many times that I was playing co-op, much to the frustration of my teammates, I missed the actual prompt and therefore we had to wait the entire thing again. So just something nice and visual, even an audio cue would merely make a massive difference to actually how that just plays out. The next thing I would like to see is for longevity of the game. Now, obviously we have lots of end game that's been discussed, but one of the things that I would like to see is when we go to farming actual enemies and farming bosses, I would like to see enemies respawn in the areas leading up to those bosses. Now at the moment, if you load back in, the enemies don't respawn. This means that if you're testing a build, you need to fully reload a mission, fully reload a side mission in order to really test how your build is working. Now, if these were expeditions, you'd be able to fire into another expedition and try your build. But for those that might not reach the end game straight away, I think it's important to have some enemies so you can test out weapons, test out builds and see how it is your, your changes that you've made can actually perform in the game. The final thing that I would like to see from Outriders is something small, but I think a lot of players have asked for, and that is a bit of an audio cue and a larger fanfare when you actually get a legendary item. If you have got a legendary yet, you will have noticed that the when the legendaries drop, there is not a lot that goes on. Sometimes you can mistake it for a green. There is an icon on the minimap, but that's kind of about it. So I would like to see a little bit more of an explosion, maybe even an audio cue, just to let you know that, wow, you've just dropped a legendary. And by the way, if you haven't got a legendary yet, legendaries are incredibly powerful in this game. So you want that fanfare. So that's it for today's video, guys. Those are the five things that I would like to see at launch that are not too massive a change that they couldn't make before the game come out, but would really give you a quality of life improvement and make the launch of this game absolutely seamless. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Or join us over on Twitch, we stream five times a week. And otherwise, we'll catch you on the flip.